Hello and welcome to the very first Kicking with Capital. So Kicking with Capital is going to be an online resource for you guys to use with your training at home. We're using the New Zealand Football Home Program as the basis for this and today is going to be Team Up Thursday. So we've got the Tap Girls with us here. We've got Emma Rolson, Football Fern and um, Golden Boot winner for the 2019 and National Women's League, and she played with Capital last season. So, here we go. Girls, can you give us a wave before we get rolling? And uh, we'll take it away. Um, hopefully, everyone has got a bit of space, got their ball, and is ready to go. The first activity is going to be um, just a little bit of a warm-up, just dribbling around in your area as fast as you can go with loads of small touches and different tricks. So Rolo, do you want to give us a, a quick little demo of that? Yeah. And then we'll oh, jump yeah. in together. All right. So we want to be, can you hear me? Yep. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we want to be using basically all parts of our feet. So we can use it to roll over, move outside, inside of your feet. So just dribbling around, change direction, getting out of the way. Trying different tricks and turns and just keeping the ball Fantastic. close to you. Nice job. Okay, okay roll, that's enough. Girls, now it's your turn. Go away and work as fast as you can. Small touches, loads of different tricks and turns. Think about how you can move in different ways with the ball. Way you go. Nice job. Great feet. Well done. Keep going. Good, don't slow down. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, fantastic. Great start so far. Rolo? Yeah. Um, do you want to do the same thing again? This time, just using... Um, the outsides of your feet, just the outsides, as quickly as you can. Think about how you can move, so step overs, all of that stuff as well. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. See how she's low to the ground, body weights over the ball, and she's able to change direction really quickly. Okay, thanks, Rollo. On to you guys again. Here we go. Three, two, one, rip it. Loving it, great feet, Olive. And time, excellent stuff, excellent stuff. Come on in, bring it back in again. Okay, roll it one more, just with the insides of your feet this time. Um, again, think about how creatively you can move. Where you go, Rolo. All right. Awesome. Great stuff, Rolo. Okay, your turn again, girls. Here you go. Three, two, one. Away you go. Just with the insides. Just with the insides, but as quick as you can. Quick feet, quick feet. Keep turning, keep changing direction, thinking about step overs, all that stuff together. Oh, Amanda's lost a ball under the car. <laughs> <laughs> She's back. work fantastic fantastic keep going 10 seconds left and time okay well done well done you can take a little breather um as we get going roll is just going to set up the next activity so we're going to be the defender so you need some kind of object whether it be a drink shoe. bottle a shoe anything you need so one object kind of right in the middle of your area. Okay. Okay, so Rolo, 
This time, she's going to beat a defender like a 1v1 skill using a fake or a faint, however you want to term it. So, Rolla, do you want to, do you want to walk us through this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to be dribbling up to my object, whatever you guys have in the middle. Usually, like, as you're running, you'll probably be taking it with, like, this part of your foot. I don't know if you guys can see. You know. Probably using this part of your foot here. As we drive, we're going to faint one way out there and shift all your body weight over to that side to trick the defender before taking it the other way with the outside of your foot. So as we go through, run, run, faint, go the opposite way. So you want to try it with both feet as well. So if you can dribble up using your other foot, faint that way, out that way. So we'll speed it up a little bit. And we'll take it, take it, boom, and out. So you want to make sure that you're doing it with some form of intent. So you're taking it that way and then it's quickly out as fast as you can. Fantastic. Time to pass it over. Great stuff in there. Keep it going. Really use your body. Get down low and push off. Drive directly at the object and then take it away. And why I love how you're using your whole body to fool the shoe or the defender. Everyone else, try and not only have quick feet and a quick change of direction, but also use the rest of your body to complete the thing. Yeah, it's really, really good. Great stuff, girls. That's class. And that's time. Okay, just walk back in. We'll go through the next one, which is just a little scissor. So... Again, Rolly, do you want to walk us through this one? Similar process again in yep. terms of a little scissor and away you go. Yeah, so we obviously all know how to do a scissor. We're stepping around and taking it away. We can use both feet for this as well, so around and away. But same with this. So when we're doing it, we really want to style the faint going the, like, the opposite way. So we're going across, really style it like you would just doing the faint and then take it away at pace. So when we're dribbling, it should look like this. So take a few touches first to get there. Dribble, dribble, boom, boom. Awesome. Okay, girls, your turn again. Go at it, go hard. Here we go. Great change of, change of pace, Olive. Good, Gemma. Love it, love Dean. Yeah, nice, Jordan. Make sure to really sell it. Getting nice and low to the ground, Tallulah, when you go over the ball. Really focus on the faint first and then coming out of it. So you can slow the movement down to do it as well. Awesome. One more each. Great stuff. And time. Okay. Have another breather. <laughs> I know it's tough work, so well done. I've seen some great attitude and some great stuff in there. Fantastic. Okay, last one, Rolo. It's mm -hmm. up to you. I've got I've got a roll step in here, but if you want to do a different <laughs> skill, you take it away and yeah. do something that you will enjoy. I'll do this one. I like this one. So rolling it across, stepping it over, and taking it away with that foot. So I'll slow it down. So as you're rolling it, Across your body, you're stepping over with that foot. So to do it sideways, roll, step. So we'll go again, roll, step, take. So it's all about that feint still. So as you're driving at a defender, you still want to be selling the feint, but the ball is rolling the opposite way this time. So as you're driving, it should look like that. So drive, drive, boom, and across. So give that one a go or try any other ones that you have, but give this one a go first and see how you go, get on. So you can practice it at a standstill first, trying to practice the trick and then try and do it at a, at a speed. Yeah, good. Just keep practicing that standstill until you've got it and then try running at speed. No hurry. Just get right yeah. first and then go ahead and take on the defender while you do it. So it's rolling across the body and you're stepping over with the foot that you're rolling it with. So I'll show you again if you need it. So it's just roll. Lovely, Jenna. Well done. 
So if we just look, so it goes roll over and just step. So if you could just practice that movement first, if you need to, roll, step, that opposite way. And then you can add in the other movement. Step, and then it's away. So it's still very similar to the scissor you just did before, but yeah. add in that roll first, basically. Yeah, yeah, very similar to the scissors. Once you've got it on your right foot, can you do it on your left foot as well? Yeah, practice both feet. Sammy's got it. She's ready to go. Let's see it, Libby. Here we go. Okay, one more each and then we'll move on. Class, okay, and freeze there. Okay, last one, not last one. We've got a few more to go still. Um, the next one is more running with the ball. So it's gonna be faster touches. So um, we're moving with the ball really quickly. And then we're just gonna do a little scoop. So Rolo, I know you kind of enjoy this one. You enjoy toying with your defenders. So do you wanna take us through the next one? Yeah, so obviously it's like the dribbling we were doing before. So we wanna keep it like close to our body. We're keeping small touches around, changes. We're using different parts of ourselves with our feet, uh, rolling it outside, inside, whatever you want. When we're going for um, the scoop, say you have an object, we're going to be taking, getting under our foot and over, basically, but we're doing it at speed. So we're kind of taking it over and we're going with the ball. So do it this way as well. So we're going over and across. So we're wanting to take much bigger, um, much bigger touches here, keeping it spacious, using your speed and change your direction as quick as you can. So it'll be. How fast can you do things? And how, how many touches can you get on the ball? Oh, where you go. Who can do a wee scoop and who can control it afterwards now as well? So the scoop is taking it over an object as you can. Picture Sam Woolley trying to slide tackle you. Nice work, Lara Gasson. Well done. Good work, Gemma. Try that scoop. Both feet if you can. Yeah, nice, Justina. I got the flick. So it's just kind of getting under the ball as you're dribbling and kind of lifting it up and over. Practice both feet. Good, Great stuff. Peppy. Fantastic work, Peppy. Well done. And we'll freeze there. Well done. Okay, that one's a little bit of a different one. You probably haven't done that one too often. But a little idea in case people are sliding or you want to get over someone that's trying to tackle you. Okay. Mm. Next one is going to be a Ronaldo chop. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favorites to keep the defender... Um, we'll keep the ball on the safe side away from the defender. So roll it. I'm going to give that one a go as well. <laughs> I haven't got this one right. but <laughs> um, Basically, you'll be driving. This is one that is mostly used when you're going at speed because it's a chop. So as you're running, as you're running, you're keeping it this way. But Ronaldo just chops it like that, basically, as he's running. So it would be running, running, chop it. Try and use both feet and keep it away from the defender, basically. So if you're coming up and you've got a defender on your side and you need to get away, it's just a chop away and you're off onto that way, basically. It's a quick change of direction. So bigger touches, get on the ball and chop it as quick as you can behind you. Fantastic. Where you go, girls, give it a go. And try and use both feet at this as well, if you can. Great job, Peppy. Good, Jordan. Good. Try and do it in one um, one movement. So it's not a stop. It's just you're going at pace and it's just a chop. Jordan loves a good chop. Here we go. Love it.
again, try and work on making this trick really fast. So come into it at speed, you, Tallulah. move out of it at speed as well. Awesome, Tallulah, fantastic. Yeah, this movement's much easier to do if you're going at speed. And time, okay. Last little trick we've got for you today um, is the slap cut. So, uh, Rollo, do you want to take us through the slap cut as the last one? Yeah, I'll do it a bit slower. Um, so this one, you'll be moving across your body, and it's a like that. So it's a cross, roll, and it's kind of like a chop. So it'll be across, and it was obvious to take your defender one way and chop it back and take it the other. So we'll be getting it. It'll be basically taking it away. So again, cross and out. That's so you can get a quick change of direction. You've got it moving this way, so the defender's coming this way, and then it's a back the opposite way. So try and get low again. So as you're going across, low and it's out as quick as you can. Fantastic. Go and give it a go. Nice, Sam White. Well done. Good feet, Amanda. Good, Jordan. <laughs> Sam White's <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> oh, Justina on left foot. Well done. Fantastic. Lavingham's got it as well. Well done. I love the people that are starting to use their left foot. Fantastic. Keep it going. Nice, Tate. Well done, Tate. Keep it going. And time. Okay, fantastic stuff, girls. That's the most part of the running done. Okay, so you've made it through. I know it's tough, especially to Lula, because you're running around in a one by one meter space. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next piece, we're going to get the ball up in the air. We're going to do a little bit of juggling. Um, Rose going to give us a few tips to take us through what she does, but just get the ball in the air, um, left foot, right foot, and just keep it up. Have a little bit of fun for the next couple of minutes. Rollo, over to you. Yeah, I love juggling. Um, it's all about, juggling's really useful in games because it's all about control. So if you can have, if you can be good at juggling, you can be good at controlling a ball if it's coming at you at speed or anything else. Um, helps you to keep the ball close to your body. Um, so when I'm juggling, I like to go right, left, like this, and just keep it up, right, left, right, left. Um, obviously trying to keep the ball low, close to my feet, not too high. I don't want to be kicking it up like this and then the ball's going out to my side or out to the other side or all around. It's all about keeping it as controlled as possible. So you probably don't want to have much spin on the ball. It's just keeping it low. If you want to use your thighs, you can use your thighs. You can use any part of your body. Um, but maybe start with your feet going right, left, right, left, right, left um, and see how many you can do. Another useful tip as well is for control is doing maybe one right foot, left foot, right foot, kick it higher than your head and then control it with your opposite foot. Um, and that just helps with varying types of balls that are coming to you in a game. Fantastic. I'll give you guys a minute and a half. Go and have a wee bit of fun with your juggling. Where you go. Show us some. Nice, Bobby. Some moves if you've got some too. Yeah, chucking them around the world. Christina's got it going. Good, Jordan. I was supposed well to be done. in the air, Jimmy. This looks too easy for Jordan. <laughs> Smashing it. Oh, oh we can stay. <laughs> Go and show us your moves if you've got some. Sammy, I know you've got some up your sleeve. Nice, 
Hey, nice one. There you go. Have some fun with it. Try some stalls if you want to try some stalls. We're checking some tricks. Oh, nice. Liv, going around the world. Liv Dean's almost there. Peppy's looking pretty smooth on it as well. Nice and small, nice and controlled. Fantastic. Okay, and relax there, girls. Well done. Okay, so we're going to take that to the next level now, and we're going to work on receiving a ball from the ear using different parts of the body to get it under control. So to start us off, we're just going to throw the ball up, and then we're going to control it with the inside of our feet. Rose, you want to give us a little bit of an example with this one? Yeah, so we're obviously we're just chucking it up high and bringing it down obviously the softer the touch the better so you want to try and like get it down as light as you can bring it down to the ground and take it away and try using both feet as you're lowering it you want to try and lower it with it so it's not just going we don't just want it to hit and go like off to the side off anywhere else we want to be able to control the ball so that comes with juggling as well so we're chucking it up we're getting it and we're bringing it down Great stuff. Give it a go. If you want, once you've uh, got it under control with your touch, you can then flick it back up instead of throwing it up. So that's the next step. Once you've controlled it, got it under control, flick it back up to yourself and do the process again. Hope it's looking smooth with both feet. So nice and light on your toes. Think about small touches and just cushioning it back to the ground. Think of it as if you were catching an egg. Like you want to take it into your grasp. You don't want to crack the egg. Nice job, Amanda. Keep it going. That was a great one. Well done. Okay, and come on back in. Come on back in. Fantastic work, girls. Okay, so Rolo, with this one, do you want to do it with the outside of your foot? Now we're now going to receive it, but on the move. So we're going to take yeah. your touch and kind of take your touch into some space. That way, okay, yeah. So obviously when we're doing this and we're checking it out, it's, you might get this in a game when the ball is coming to you and you have to take it away. So we're trying to grab it away and take it at the outside of your foot. So as we chuck it up, up, you can see the ball. Yep. Oh. All right, don't fail like me, but anyway, chuck it up in a way so you want to come onto the ball and recognize when the ball's coming down so as it's coming down we're getting over it and taking it either with our right foot or with our left foot great demonstration well done Rollo. okay your turn now take your take the touch away into some space <laughs> have some fun with it maya where's your demo <laughs> <laughs> Nice touch there, Jordan. Well done. Right, now's that time to use that left foot now, Jay. Excellent stuff with your right. Nice job, Amanda. Well done, Jim. Keep it going. Nice, Liv Dean. Good timing. Yeah, well done. Libby, well done. Grand. Great stuff. Nice. And Frazier. Sorry, Rollo. Oh, I just said nice. <laughs> oh, nice. It's still Great good. Stuff. Yeah, nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, um, all right. We'll move on to now. We're going to receive it with a thigh. You can either take it with the inside or the outside of your thigh. But again, you're going to try and take it off the middle. So you're going to try and move with the ball with your thigh. Hopefully you've got a little bit of room to work in here because you'll need to take it kind of down. Once you've got it on the ground, try and make sure you're controlling it again. Where you go, Rollo. Again, as it's coming down, instead of like receiving it with our knee up like this and letting it come back up, we want to receive it more so so our knee's down so it can, we can take it either way. We take it inside, outside, 
whatever we're doing with it. So if we're tucking it up, and then it's taking it away. So we just want to try and cushion it still. So as it's coming down, it's not just like a huge like zip. We want to try and cushion it so it comes down and we're taking it that way and out with our foot. So it's all about as it's coming, we're getting it in, we're taking it down almost with it to come off to the side. So. Try that. Give that a go. Here we go. Good, Sammy. Good now. Caress. It's kind of like caressing the touch, isn't it? Yeah. Really like careful, controlled, like you say, cushioning, catching it like an yeah. egg. Yeah. You want to move with the ball. So you don't want the ball to just hit your knee. You want to move with the ball. You're taking it down as it comes down too. Fantastic. Okay. And time. All right, well done. Um, some really, really good stuff in there, girls. Keep keep working on your receiving with um, from aerial balls and bouncing balls and all that sort of thing. What we're going to move into next, Bolo's just going to take you through some of the exercises that she does with kind of quick feet. So working with the ball and kind of once you get a hang of the routine, you then get a you get to go faster and faster and faster with it and develop some really quick feet. Um, she's obviously a bit of a master and an expert in this area. She's a little bit like a Vivian Medema. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, take it away, Rolo. Just give us maybe a couple of examples of what they can practice in their own time. Yeah, all right, cool. So this one's a good one. If you just have like an, um, something you can use, a cone, a ball, anything like that. Often I find it's better if you have a wall or somebody you can use. Um, but I'll try and think of some ones that we can do without it. This one's a simple one. It's just opening out so it's like a v-shape around it open out as quick as you can so pulling with my right foot across open around the um cone open with my left foot and a around so it's trying to get it as quick as you can so you're moving at pace like that so just trying to get it as quick as you can change your direction moving it in and out so that's like if you're coming up to a defender you have to move it out and you're away like that um, another one that you could work on, again, is just like our one. So we're taking it back, across, and up. Back, across, and up. So we're just trying to do that one at pace. So we're going back, over, up with your other foot. So like that. And just trying to practice that a bit faster. Other than that, I would just try and get up against the wall where you can get bounce passes back. Um, and you can change direction quickly. So practice passing straight onto the wall and then across and getting around a defender. So if I had a ball defender here, I'd be passing it straight at the wall, passing it across so it goes on the diag and I'd receive it back here. And then it's about using your other foot as well. So going across, straight, diag, straight, diag. And it's all about receiving it and how you're gonna move from there. Um, Getting on the ball as well, just I practice juggling a bit more. Um, it just helps with your control um, and getting on the ball and just trying to change direction. I think it's really important to use both sides of your feet and using different parts of your feet. So it makes it much easier when you're in a game if you can use your left foot if you're naturally right footed. Um, otherwise, teams start to realize that you can only use one foot and they might just drag you onto one side. Um, but if you're using both feet, it means that you can get around players. You can shoot with both feet. It doesn't matter if you're not great at it at the moment. I think that's one of the most important things is working on things that you're not great at. You need to double down on your weaknesses rather than your strengths. Um, and that's how you get better at things. And that's how you grow. So, Fantastic. Thanks very much, Rolo. Um, hopefully, all of you girls have taken something away and taken <laughs> little golden nuggets or... Um, yeah, little bits of inspiration or tips that you can go away and work on. I know we're going to be in lockdown for a few weeks longer, so this will kind of help you guys going forwards. Um, 
I'm really pleased with what you guys have done today and thanks very much for joining. Um, if you all want to give a little bit of a wave before we head off, say thank you very much to Rolo. If you want to take yourself off mute, that'd be cool as well. Um, and say thanks for, for jumping on the call. Awesome work today. A fantastic session from everyone involved. Thank you to you for joining us. Thanks to Rolo for being a fantastic special guest. And also thank you to the Tap Girls for letting us be part of their team um, for the very first Kicking With Capital session. Stay tuned because we've got Skills Challenge Saturday and Tickers Tuesday coming up and we're looking forward to seeing how you guys bring that to life. See you guys then.